Hello, one two two testing microphone one two two. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Austin Code Cipher back again with another video. So in this video, we are going to be looking at the MySQL database. Mainly, it's going to be database management. How can you manage the data inside your database? And we are going to be writing queries to implement such stuff in our database. So you are not going to use a console, but for the case of universities or institutes, they will be provided. The students will be provided with a console, maybe using the WAMP server. At in this case, we are using the exam server, but still we shall be having the same my PHP my admin panel. It will always be the same. So let me go to the search engine and I look for exam control panel click that and when it loads as for me i made mine to run automatically so it's already running what i have to do but if you are new to it you just need to you will see here start so when you see it having this green light light green you know that it's already running you just need to stop the action but if it's not started you just need to click the start now let me open my browser here and to test that your local server or your server is already working you just write localhost and place enter and you'll be prompted to this site home or the it's like a home page for exam and they tell you you have successfully installed exam on your system on this system so yeah cool we have installed it now where do we have to go next i see on the upper right hand side where you see php my admin click there and when you click there we shall be ready to go this stuff should load up quickly because we out of time we want to learn more about databases so we are in the database panel php my admin so you may see it wide like this is because i zoomed in for you guys to see it clearly i don't think at a hundred we shall be viewing everything cool now let me put it at a 120 25 125 so these guys on the right hand side the web servers and database servers we may not need them just read them for just a study purpose now cool we are inside our php my admin so first of all i would like to show you how they create databases by default you can come on this hand left hand side and place new and you'll be prompted to write the database name so such stuff and we are not here to learn that that's for end users people who are lazy in writing code that's all i have to tell you so we are not going to do anything about that we need to write our own queries to create databases that's what has brought us here now are you seeing here where there is sql which stands for the structured query language it's where you have to click click that so you will be prompted to this panel where you will be typing in your queries from let me zoom out quickly so that you see the go button on the bottom right hand side here so this is where you'll be writing your queries from now to avoid mistakes first see if there is no database having that name you're going to use on the left hand side i see but still to see databases in case you are using a console like a command prompt line so for a console you just write show databases show databases so when you're in a console you have to put the semicolon or the sp of databases so when you're using a, a prompt or a console you have to put these semicolons don't forget these semicolons uh you can call them the terminators so every statement af every after end of the statement you terminate it so if you're using a console and you leave out this 
my friend you ran you are always running into errors and i don't wish you'll be on the computer opening your eyes widely like an owl searching for the error yet it's only this so when you a woman and ask a programmer how how much do you love me and the programmer says i love you like a semicolon just know that guy loves you a lot because without this semicolon life will be incomplete for a program and nothing will be executed on the screen so that's some tool tip <laughs> it's a tool tip so when you are done with this when you're done with this show databases actually you have to add an s here see over talking too much you forget things <laughs> now show databases in case you are inside a command prompt you write show databases and they present to you all these so when you click go i sing here you're seeing my mouse moving <sighs> click go and when you place go they will be able to show you the databases here you seeing they tell us these databases are in this php my admin control panel so that's it when you in case you're using a console but for this case we don't need it because we already seeing it on the left hand side we shall go back and create our new database so i'll always go back to the main page so to write our new database we just go to the structured query language and write our queries now to create a database you just need to write create database create database now what's the name of that database let me say i'm a programmer and my country uganda has assigned me to make a database of its citizens so i will create a database and call it uganda this is just an example it can be of items maybe you are selling items it's a shop doing some stuff like that but right now we are into uganda so after writing that i put a semicolon i said i'm putting that semicolon because you may be using a console now we are creating a database called uganda are you seeing on the left hand side there is no database called uganda so after writing this and i place go in the console you may press enter after writing all these codes now when i'm inside here i place go i seeing that there is a new database called created called uganda and here they'll say my sql returned an empty result set zero so and they show you the command you wrote here create database called uganda so there is uganda here we click it so are you seeing here where my mouse my cursor is playing from so this is the server so inside that server we are now inside the database and here they will show you hey create a table and set the number of columns you want and this is not what we want mainly if this is for end users we will type blah 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 and set the columns and press go but for us we want it we want to do it using commands we want to know how this area was created and what is the code behind that to create all this stuff that's what we want to create for ourselves now we'll go back to the structured query language where you'll be writing your queries from so to create a table we just need to write create and it's of good practice that you use uppercase letters create table and what name do you want to give to that table and since we are dealing with uganda and i was assigned to register like to capture data from citizens of uganda i will just say create a table called citizens create a table called cities citizens so when you're done with that when you're done with that i guess create table oh actually we do not speed this we have said create a table called citizens now you have you are, when you're going to create a table called citizens remember they had some option of like enter the number of columns you want so when you create a table and give it a name citizens then we have to set the values inside now 
we always want our users to be citizen every citizen has to be with an id we say id and we said the data type is going to be an integer int just write int and this id is going to be the auto increment it's going to be an auto increment so auto increment and it will be the primary key primary key I think id int auto increment primary key so what the auto increment will do it will go on adding when the user comes in the first user comes in will be given an id of one the second one two the third one three like that and this should not be null not null put a com put a comma if you are still adding other columns then we need to get the first name of the citizen first name and the data type will be var car and at least the first name should be 20 characters should not be more than 20 characters and we say not null it should not be empty we put a comma and we say last name so let me you know white space is not bad when you are dealing with this you can do this so long as you separate them with the commas and we say last name and also the last name the data type is vaca and it should not also be more than 20 characters it should not be empty not null comma and we say age age will be an int integer it will be a number and this should not also be null and i guess that's the little stuff i can give about this citizen so when you're in a console don't forget this terminator the semicolon and you see we have created a table called citizen and we have created they are like four columns one for the id two for the first name three for the last name and four for the age then place go when you're done let's go and I'll show you all this then click structure and yeah they will show you that we are having a table called citizen we have to browser it and see what is there so this is the, our table first is an ID last the second is the first name and we are having the last name then age so that's it for that's it for this video in the next tutorial we shall be looking at how we can insert in some details in our database so subscribe to the channel if you have liked the video share it on different social medias please don't forget to subscribe that red button you're seeing over there if you're new to the channel if you're ready, peace. I just want you to learn more and create something more dynamic for yourself. As always, I will see you in the next tutorials. Peace.